Hey YouTube, it's me, Made by Marsha Mom. I'm Marsha. Um, I feel like I got some on my face. Um, I'm just going to make a real quick video because I haven't been on in so long. And uh, excuse the um, wonderful look. Um, I don't have a lot to talk about. <laughs> but it's been like, I bet you it's been a month since I made a video. And although I've been busy, um... It hasn't been necessarily crochet. I mean, I I have part of Amber, Amber's little um, ghosty friend. I have part of him done. I have part of a pig done. They're over that way. Um, I've been working on a lot of, oh, I just saw that. <laughs> something. If you see my bottom half, it doesn't match my top half because I have pajama pants on. Hang on. All right, mostly what I've been doing is playing with the Cricut because cricketing and sewing, oh, I did some sewing too, I think. It's in that box. I'm trying to make things, pack them for the craft fair because now I have two. One, pardon the coffee, one, um, one is at my work. Many of you know I work for a national a feed company. I'm not saying who because I never want this to get flagged and get back to them. Um, in case I do slip up and say something less than appropriate. Um, so far, even though I'm back for the same company I worked for, I quit. So far, I love my job. Um, we're getting into Christmas. Yes, our store sets Christmas on, I think. I think this week. Yeah. Christmas gets set because Santa has his butt bumping into Halloween. Oh, and sorry if I bounce the table because I have you guys precariously balanced um i arranged something in here and this works a little bit better than having you on my computer um anyway so i've been cricketing because it's faster because now i have two craft shows two weeks apart one's the 28th one's the 18th so what is that um well maybe a little more than two weeks apart um and i'm getting nervous about the second one the one that i signed up for because um they've been posting on facebook everybody that's going to be there and they're professionals <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to cricket me some kind of fancy tablecloth. Um, anyway, so one of the things and I was just working on it yesterday because I saw this at a restaurant I eat at, and I also saw it on Cricket, although I can't find it anywhere on Cricket anymore. But look at this, in case you can't read it. This this is Dollar Tree soap. And I take let me see if I can do it in a darker one. You can see it better, maybe. Alright, so you take a Dollar Tree soap, you take the label off the front. And it says, wash your hands and say your prayers. Jesus and germs are everywhere. Isn't that freaking cute? And so, I made six of them. I don't, I don't know. You can't really see the light one. Oh, you're seeing yourself. Look at that. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I'm going to try six of those. See how that goes. Then, <coughs> I follow, um, excuse me, I follow some, uh, Cricket Crafty People on YouTube, and um, Laurie Noonmaker had a um, pattern for the Cricut. You can make your own bag, so then I took that idea. This is a sheet of paper cut on the Cricut to make like a card style bag. And see, I wrote, thank you, made by Marsha Mom in my email. That way, people buy stuff at the craft show. I can put it in a bag. I also, if you remember from way back, my daughter um, bought for my birthday, well, my, my granddaughter, through her mommy, bought me a bunch of these bags. And I don't know, um, they thought I was going to use them for like giveaways, but anyways, I decided to use them for my craft show. So it's the same thing. They all say basically this. And, um, but I tried to match the... Um, ink color to the tissue paper so got a handful of those so when people buy um because there's one i don't i forgot who it is on youtube that does craft fairs and she said and don't take this the wrong way i'm just saying what she said she said if you have your handcrafted items and you put them in a used grocery bag they somehow lose value so if you want to get the money you want for them you have to package them well that's the only reason why i package the way i do and Believe you me, I would not. Sorry about me talking down. 
I would not be packaging like I do if I didn't have the Cricut. I mean, hands down, Cricut is the way to go. The other thing I've been working on, um, <coughs> which is going to lead me to a mild rant, but whatever, uh, you know. If you run the same channels, I'm. If you follow the same Facebook groups I follow, then you would know why I'm a little. I don't know. I'm not even mad anymore. I'm, I'm over it. But anyway, so I made these cute little on my Cricut, these cute little Halloween treat boxes. And what I did was, oh, I felt like something was in there. Um, I printed most of the little characters from Cricut and did a cut. Um, it's called. Um, print and cut. That's a stamp that I recently acquired. That bat's also a stamp and also a punch that I recently acquired. And the little top of it says boo. I made these Halloween boxes. The difference is I can get two boxes from a 12 inch square piece of paper. I can only get one box on an eight and a half by 11 square inch piece of paper, but it's not paper. I mean, it, it's, um, cardstock. So I have me some bigger ones and some little ones and they're all I mean they're all different if you saw Ella's page I think I posted them on Ella's page maybe I don't know um they're all kind of different but like I said most of them were from um, print and cut images this one here is from a Halloween paper that I just fussy cut but I made a bunch of these and lo and behold I was talking to my friend Pat hi Pat um Lo and behold, if a bigger YouTuber didn't, um, like, because I posted those boxes on two of the Cricut um, maker pages, Lori's and, um, Lori's and Jennifer's, and I think it was 48 hours later, later another um, famous Cricut type person, YouTuber, that I follow, went live and made the, the same dang boxes live. <laughs> I'm like... Dang, missed that opportunity to make a, um, a video. I should have done it. I should have ran with it, but I didn't. But, I mean, whatever. They're bigger than me, so I'm not going to argue. Um, and what else? I, I've got some <clears throat> acquired things. No yarn. I have, like I went to Dollar Tree. I bought me some more coffee cups because that's quick and easy. To put some decals on, although there's going to be somebody there with the um, ones with resin, so I don't know how well my cups are going to sell um, at the bigger craft show. What else? And then I bought, um, so I think you guys already saw these boxes. Um, let me see. But, oh, maybe you didn't. I have these boxes that I made. They say, you are terrific, and I'm going to put a tea and a crumpet in there. Well, actually, a tea and a cookie. Um, but, yeah, that was a print and cut. I'm going to do these little boxes of craft fair. And, I, and so the other ones that I did that you've already seen, like I've got quite a, I've got, I don't know, this new design, which is the same design as the Halloween boxes, but I made a paper bow and junk. Um, I don't know, I have maybe 30 of those I'm going to do. And I made, let me see if I can get into my sewing box. Hang on. I have a box of sewing. So I think I've already shown. I made one, two, three, three more bowl cozies. And I forgot when I was at the store to buy chapsticks for my chapstick holders, which I already showed you guys a while back. Um, so, it's moving slow. What I'm afraid of, which would be a good thing, but not a good thing. What I'm afraid of is that I'm going to run, that I'm going to run out of stuff that when I go to the one at my work, but I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know how busy that one's going to be. Um, but I'm afraid that maybe I won't have enough product for the bigger one, which is going to scare me because although I do have a payday in between or two and I can buy a bunch more Cricut stuff and do that, but I want to have some of my crochet Emmys for the um, other ones because that's what she advertised. Um, 
No, I haven't finished my little my little goblin yet. He's still missing a leg. Yeah, Pat, I'm just not. Uh. Um, I started the piggy thinking he was this big. Hang on, I'm gonna get him. I wanted something really quick and easy to do for the craft show, so I started the piggy. You see the piggy? Even on the front cover, he doesn't look obnoxiously big. Oh, hey, no, but this is his head so far. I mean, this is my hand. Do you see? He's going to be obnoxiously big. And <coughs> Bear Bear, get out of there. Got the dogs in here with me. So he's bigger than I want him to be, but I do want to have him done because farms and what else do i have anything i don't even know what i've been like i had four days off a couple weeks ago four days off in a row amazing but um got some cricket stuff done and i played and i was trying to work out designs and clean the house and all that junk and time gets away from you i still never showed you the tea set i got a few weeks ago um I don't know but I just wanted to pop in oh and the other thing that's the main reason why I'm on here because sorry Amber um, Amber has graciously donated two of her um, spooky Caspery ghostly patterns which I wish oh I can show you the picture because I'm not done with it he looks like that let me see if I got another picture Without showing you the pattern can you see that they look like that and she has graciously donated two of them but I you know I'm not gonna make her donate them I'll just pay for them so we're gonna turn this into a little bit of a contest and before I forget Liliana where are you because I haven't seen you on comments oh I hope you're all right um and so anyways um comment on this video um And of course, Ella's got patterns too. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to pay for either one, Ella and um, Amber. I'm going to pay for whatever. I'm going to do two of Amber's patterns, two of Ella's patterns. They both have Halloween patterns because there's a crochet along going on. Um, or actually, it's a make along because, <laughs> because of me, Amber. Thank you. Um, anything Halloween, Halloween crafty wise. Um, Ella's page on Facebook, which is no catchy name. Um, Ooh Ah Crochet, which is Amber's page on Facebook. You post your pictures there, finished items. Anyway, so if you want one of Ella's patterns, I'm going to do two of Ella's, two of Amber's. I'm going to um, keep this going until the 27th, because that's when I get paid next. <laughs> so the 27th. And give me a few days because um, we have something called price cuts that I have to like, I'm working a 12 hour shift on the 29th and I'm working at 5 a.m. on the um, 30th. So that weekend, I don't even know if I had the 28th. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm going to give away two of Ella's, which I'm going to pay for, of her Halloween, her crochet patterns too. She got a, um, a little froggy witch and I think she got something... What's the other one you got, Ella? I can't remember. I'm trying to do this real quick before I go to work today. Because I, uh, I was supposed to be in at noon, but I got to go in at 10. So I'm losing daylight. Um, so two of Ella's patterns will be given away. Two um, of um, Amber. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? I didn't sleep well. I was up at 3 a.m. tossing and turning. Um, so four patterns all together. Four winners. Um... You need to like and be a subscriber, although some of you have private uh, um, thingies. Everybody talks about that, so I have to be able to verify that you're a subby to me. Um, so, like, subscribe, and comment. Um, what is your favorite Halloween candy? And if you aren't candy in general, um, but... Like for me, it would be the Reese's Pumpkins. 
um, because I like more peanut butter in my Reese's. So, um, <coughs> comment your favorite um, candy. Or if you don't eat candy, how about um, your favorite Halloween slash fall tradition? And um, like I said, I will leave this open until somewhere 27th-ish, you know, after next payday so I can pay for the four patterns. But you'll have to be able, because um, they'll have to be able to send it to you. So I think they're on Ravelry. That might be the, or I can talk to Ella and Amber about emailing them to you if you win. Um, so if you win, um, you have to email me first, I guess. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyways, I have to go because I won't have time to upload this. It's, uh, it's 15, 16 minutes. And anyways, i got to say thank you for watching. Thanks to all the new subbies. I don't know who shouted me out, but in the midst of this month, I probably gained, I don't know, I gained a few subbies. And I'm like, I don't know who called me out. Who, um, well, not called me out like bad thing, but, you know, mentioned me. Um, but I did grab a few. Um, and... Yeah, I think, I think that's it. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Hi to all the new subbies. Got any questions for me, leave them below because that'll give me some content because lately I've been like um, just panicking over this craft fair stuff and um, trying to gain ideas and yeah. Anyways, hi Pat. Hi Liliana. Hi Emmett. Emmett, I got to tell you a cute story about my grandson lives in Virginia. He will tell me that he will say to me, I love you. But he won't say that to his mommy. <laughs> so, he's done it twice now. So, I love you, Emmett. And who else do I have to say hi to? Liliana, Pat, um, um, everybody else. And I'm not doing any shout-outs. Sorry, but um, love you guys, and I gotta go. Bye.